Last few weeks have been very crazy. What an insane time to be alive. I'm sure none of us ever imagined witnessing a pandemic in our lifetime, but COVID-19 has been spreading and how. This is a time where staying home is literally saving lives. And since we're all stuck at home for a while now, I figured why not use this time in the best way possible or at least try to do so. The first week of the lockdown, I spent most of my time watching Netflix, staying in bed and feeling anxious, but I'm trying to get myself out of it and look at all this time we have in a positive way. Some of you may be struggling with what to do with all this extra time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you 10 things you can do at home while social distancing. The first thing I've been trying to do lately is to work out every day. I'm sure a lot of you already do it, but for people like me who haven't been very regular and say things like, I don't have the time, well, that excuse doesn't work anymore. We have all the time now, and this is a good time to build a habit of working out daily. I've been using this app called Sweat, and I follow the workout there, but there are so many options online to choose from. I love Blogilates on YouTube, and if you're into yoga, you could try Sarah Beth Yoga as well. Honestly, there's just so many options to choose from, and I've been enjoying my workouts a lot these days. With all this time we're spending at home now, this is a great time to try and learn something new or pick up a new skill. Thanks to the internet, there are so many resources to learn from. I've had a masterclass subscription which is about to expire soon and I haven't made good use of this if I'm being honest, so I'm trying to change that now. Some of the classes there are amazing and I love taking notes while I'm learning because it helps me retain things better and I can always refer to these notes anytime. Another website I love is Skillshare. They usually have a free trial for a month or two, I think, and there are so many cool classes on it, especially if you're trying to learn something creative. I've been learning to illustrate on it just for fun. You could also use this app called Duolingo to learn a new language. Other websites like Coursera, Udemy, and EDX offer great classes too. And of course, YouTube has so much free content to learn from. With everything going on these days and the endless negativity in the media, I've been feeling quite anxious. We have no idea when this pandemic will end and what the world will be like on the other side of this, which is why I've been making it a point to meditate every day. I've been meditating on and off for a few years now, but if you're new and just starting out, there are a lot of apps and guided meditations available online to help you get started. If possible, try to do this at the start of your day because this really sets the tone for the rest of your day. For a lot of you, this may be new, but I've been working from home for three years now and I still struggle with it sometimes. I know it can be tempting to be lazy, especially when you work from your bed and you can just lay down, which is why never work from your bed. Fix a spot in your house where you think you can get your best work done. It's very important to separate your workspace and your resting, relaxing space. Even though they're both in the same room for me, I do all my work on my desk and never work from my bed. Also, it's very tempting to just sit and work in your pajamas and I'm guilty of doing that too, but it makes such a big difference when you dress up for work. It automatically lifts your mood up and makes you more productive. Don't take my word for it, try it out and see it for yourself. Another thing I've been doing is taking time out for projects and ideas that I've had for so long now but haven't been able to execute. Now that I'm not traveling, I have a lot more time on my hands and I'm just trying to get all these passion projects done. I absolutely love reading books. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do, but with all the traveling that I do, it sometimes takes me weeks to finish one book and that is so annoying. But now is a good time to finish reading all the books that are just sitting in your bookshelf collecting dust. Audiobooks are another great way to read as well, especially when you're trying to multitask. I use this app called Storytel for audiobooks and I usually read on my Kindle, but since I'm back home now, I've been reading some physical books as well from my dad's collection. There is no better time than now to pick up a new hobby or get back to an old one. For me, it's been dancing and learning to doodle. I've been dancing since I was a kid, but somehow during the last 5-6 years, I just stopped dancing. So I'm using this time to get back to it just for fun. I've also always had an interest in illustrating and doodling. And thanks to Skillshare, I've been learning to do that now. So that has been awesome as well. Your hobby could be literally anything. Maybe it's photography or cooking or gardening. Try to take some time out for it every single day. Cooking is something I suck at, but I feel like it's such an important skill to know. So these days, I've been trying to learn to cook. Most people don't have a full-time help at home, so help out in the kitchen and maybe learn to cook along the way. 
If cooking is something you enjoy doing, then now is the time to try out all those recipes you've been wanting to but haven't had the time to. Just like with anything else, you only get better at cooking with practice, and the more you do it, the more you start enjoying it. At least that's been my experience. Also, since I love food and we can't really eat out these days, I think it's a good idea to learn to cook your favorite meals now. I recently learned to cook pasta and it turned out so delicious. I honestly feel so blessed that I'm back home with family right now. Usually when I'm home we're all busy doing our own things but now that everyone is forced to stay indoors this is a great time to spend some quality time with your family. I've been playing cards and board games pretty much every day. We also watch movies and TV shows together, cook and eat all our meals together as well which is so nice. I know a lot of you are living alone now but thankfully we live in the time of the internet so make sure you video call and catch up with your friends and family there are a ton of apps now where you can video chat and play games with your friends and it actually feels like a party so try doing that I am someone who really loves to journal I've had a gratitude journal for many years now where I write down things I'm grateful for Journaling can be such a good emotional outlet and if you haven't already tried it I think now is a very good time because I think this will be very useful. You don't need a fancy journal or anything. Just take out a notebook or even your notes app on your phone and write down 5 or 10 things you're grateful for along with why you're grateful for them. Ever since I got my iPad I've just been journaling on this. I found a free gratitude journal online and I try to fill it up sometime in the morning because it puts me in a great mood for the rest of the day. The last point which is also the most important is to indulge yourself. I mean we're in the midst of a pandemic that's insane. It's so important to not be hard on yourself during this time and just chill out. Though we have all this extra time, try not to let yourself feel pressured about being productive all the time. It's hard enough to be productive in the best of times, let alone when we're in the midst of a global crisis. So really take the time to indulge a little if you have the luxury to do so. Watch Netflix. I've watched so many shows during this time. Do some skincare. I've been applying face masks and uh, taking extra care of my skin now that I have so much time. It's okay to slow down and do nothing. You're not wasting your time doing that. Sometimes we all need a break from our busy lives to be able to rejuvenate ourselves. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. These were some ways in which you could uh, spend your time during this quarantine period. I hope you guys and your families are safe, staying at home, washing your hands and doing okay. It looks like the lockdown is going to be extended. We have no idea what's going to happen. There's so much uncertainty and negativity during this time, but a lot of us have the luxury of having a home right now, good internet connection. Of course, everyone watching this has internet, food, family and you know that's more than what a lot of people have. There are so many people who are really badly affected by the situation. situation and thankfully there are lots of ngos and charities which are doing amazing work so if possible try to donate to a charity of your choice and of course support your domestic help as well i want to know how you guys are spending your time during this quarantine period so comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this video give it a like share it with your friends and family it may help someone out uh, subscribe to my channel press the bell button and i will see you guys next time bye